Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma, and also welcome to day four um, of all of our samples of all of the new sets that were released last Friday. For today's set, all of my design team is showcasing Coffee Break, and I'm going to be showing you Coffee Break and Coffee Backgrounds, and I kind of want to show you the difference here, okay? Coffee Backgrounds, the size of these are three and a quarter by three and a quarter square. And these are sized at one and six sixteenths. Okay, so if you see the difference, you see the difference of the size right there. It's because these were designed to stamp on your cup, and there's several different ways to do it. And they were also designed to stamp on the sleeve. Okay, so basically that is the difference right there. Okay, and you can see it right there. Like this one, you see how big the letters are and how small. The reason why I wanted a smaller version of that because I fell in love with this so much. I wanted it small enough where you can put it on the cup and you can see all the detail. I'm going to show you that really quick. Okay, here goes the look. You see that's this perfect size of the cup right there, but you see how I stamped on it? You see where you can see all the details? As if I were to stamp it with the bigger background, you wouldn't really see it too much. It wouldn't look right. Okay, that's why, and I know if I did not would not have done this, I would have kicked myself in the butt and I would have said, man, I should have designed a smaller one because how cute is that? You know what I'm saying? So this, that is the size difference for those of you who had questions, okay? And, okay, so that was the, the difference I wanted to show you. And then um, Coffee Break has, it comes with two dies, which are together. Oops, I forgot this opens this way. They actually come together, so it comes with a set of the two, the coordinating dies along, and they are a set of six stamps. So the three little pattern one, and I had to throw in a bonus little um, polka dot one, because you know me, I love my polka dots. And then I have the little tall grande venti, which as you could see, that fits perfectly. I designed that to fit perfectly on the coffee sleeve. And if you notice, they're stitching on the coffee sleeve. My signature there. Um, and then I have a little caution, very hot. I thought that was super cute to add to it. Okay, so here we go right here. There goes the cup. Now, the reason why I made them all, I'm making all of my dies connected for a reason because I am constantly losing, like, the second piece. Like, I lost my teeny tag layer die the other day. I lost the little circle to the scallop and stitch circle the other day. So I figured I know better now they're going to be together. So there goes the sleeve at the top. And like I said, as you could see, my signature stitching. So whenever you see that, think of me because that's where I put on all of my dies. And then I have the, the cup, okay? So... I'm going to show you a couple of different ways how these could be done right now. Okay, first I'm going to show you how you could stamp the little miniature background stamp onto your cup first, okay? So what you want to do is just grab this, and this is a pretty good size, it's two and a half by like one and three quarters, one and three quarters up at the top there. And then what you want to do is just grab your ink. And then just go ahead and ink this up, okay? And then you could go ahead and now you could stamp this right on a piece of paper then cut it out, okay? Or you could do it this way, this way I'm about to show you right now. Okay, you see how perfectly that cuts, that stamps in there? Okay, I wanted to show you really quickly here your sleeve, okay? When you get it, this is the way it is on your, it's upside down. Oops, let me see. Okay, this is the way it is when you get it. But when you cut it out, it's going to go the opposite way on your cup, like so. Okay, so let me show you on here. The way I designed this, I designed this for it to fit on the actual, in like, like how should I say, I did, uh, the way I designed it, I did not make it the same size of the actual die. I made it the size of the stamp on the inside. So hopefully that makes sense because I just thought it would look, it looks more prettier and I just love it, okay? So anyways, to get the effect to stamp on the bottom portion of your cup, let me grab my plastic here. 
so we won't stamp all onto my mouse pad. Okay, so what I'm good. So what I did was I just went ahead and I stamped that same cup on some post-it note paper, and then I cut it out. Okay, so what we are going to use, just so you won't get the out the little background stamp on your outside part, you're going to use this. Let me grab a piece of tape really quick. All right, so what you want to do is just kind of like outline this like perfectly like so. Let me just I'm gonna put some tape at the bottom here because this is open right there. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do is grab your little cup and place it in the center just like so. Okay, so now you could grab your stamp. And then the way I suggest, just go ahead and treat this like a big background stamp. This is how I usually ink mine up, just like so. And use a good juicy ink, um, a little stamp pad, an ink pad. I use this archival one here, the black, jet black here from Ranger. And then you want to go ahead and just stamp at the top first. Hopefully you can see this, I'm at a weird angle here. Okay, you want to stamp it once there, okay. You see how perfect that is? You can leave the bottom part alone, but you know what, I want that stamped as well. I don't want just part of the cup stamped. Okay. And then, you could go ahead and stamp the bottom portion. Okay, so then when you take off your little mask, how cool is that? Okay, isn't that fun? You see how it did not, oops, you see how it does not run outside the lines? How perfect is that? Okay, and then if you want to get a little fancy schmancy, you could go ahead and get, let me grab one of these sleeves that I cut out here. Why don't we do, hmm, yeah, we'll do the sleeve in the craft color. See, here goes your sleeve right there. You could leave it plain, which I think it looks kind of cool, plain. Or you could go ahead and stamp your little, um, like, caution hot or something like that. Or you could stamp the tall grande or venti right there. Or we could do another background stamp. Why don't we do another background stamp on here? It might be a little too busy, but I just kind of wanted to show you. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I want to do this on here because I think this is my favorite one out of all of them. Um, where's my little tiny block here? Okay, there we go. I just want to show you how cute this, how perfect this fits onto here. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and just put this right there. Was this? Let me make sure, before you stamp on it, make sure you have it the right way, in which I do. So I could just stamp right on there. Okay, how cool is that? And then you could pop that part up if you'd like. Okay, so that's one way how to do it. Okay, and I'm going to show you a different way. So now way. we have a pretty little craft color one there. And we are going to ink this one up as well. We'll go ahead and stamp the coffee cup on here. I might be a little off on this one because there's a glare here that I cannot see. Oh no, actually it works perfect. Yay! Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use a white one. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here. And then let's go ahead and stamp my favorite one. Actually, they're all my favorite, but since I'm going to show you a background stamp with this checkers, I'm going to do a bigger version. I'm going to use the big background, coffee background stamps for that one. Let's go ahead and use this one here. So let me get this all inked up for you. And this is the cute little polka dot ones. Yeah, see, I need, I need, I'm keep on doing it on here. You don't need to keep inking this up like I am, but I could tell this is running out of ink, and I, I want it to get a perfect impression for you. Okay, so there goes that. So now what you want to do is just all you do is just grab your little coffee cup sleeve and stamp right on top of it. And you can see how cute this is. All right, let me grab my little tweezers here to get it off. And move this out of the way. 
Okay, how perfect is that, everybody? Isn't this the? I am so in love with all of my dies. Cause look how beautiful my. Even though I stamped on this, you could still see the beautiful stitching right there. How awesome! And then you could go ahead and just pop that up if you'd like. Isn't that? So, oh my god, I love this. Okay, let me go ahead and just now. Let me see something really quick because I want to. I've been dying to use this. Yeah, I think I'm going to add this on there really quickly. Really quickie poo. Okay. Let me move this. And let's pick that up. Oops, see how long I put this in the center. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp this on just for the heck of it because I've been dying to use this stamp again. I used it on one of my other cards last week. Okay, so we are going to stamp on here. Caution, very hot. Isn't that so cute? Oh my god, how can you not love this set? So for those of you who I did get a couple of emails from, knowing, wanting to know the size difference of the pa the patterns, there you go right there. So there goes one that we did. Um, well, I showed you earlier in the, the video, I'm sorry. Okay, so there goes that one. These are just a couple little ways I showed you how you could use your dies. Okay, everybody, hopefully that helped out. Some of you who have questions, and I will go ahead and you'll see a project made with this on my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com. Um, and also, I'm going to make a project using the actual coffee, um, this one, the coffee background, the bigger ones for you on a card. So you could go ahead and see that they are, they do, um, they are different. Okay, one's bigger, one's smaller. Okay, everybody, visit my blog, www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my design team has done with this awesome set. Okay, everybody, have a fabulous day. And I will see you tomorrow for the big blog hop day and linky party. Okay, so remember, if you purchased your stamps already, they have already shipped out yesterday, which is Wednesday. Um... When you receive those pants, uh, those pants, <laughs> when you receive the stamps, go ahead and link up your version of all of these sets. I would love to see it. But for this time only, I usually let you use any stamps, but this time only, I want, I specifically want you to use this particular release because I'm dying to see what all of you have to come up with. I, like I said, I want to switch it up and try something different with this release because I think this is going to be fun. And I have a super duper sweet prize. One grand prize is going to go to one winner, which random.org will choose. And you have two weeks to um, link up your projects. So I will see you back here tomorrow for the blog hop. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.